Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add some details to make your shot more realistic. As we all know, lighting is a key to get our shot more realistic. But from one point, the light itself can't really help you to make it better unless you use some techniques to visualize a natural scene, something that normally happens if you notice in real life. And that's adding some environmental objects between the light source and your scene. Previously, we would do that by adding the heavy objects behind the windows. But now, I will use a simple free plugin that you can download it for free and use it to improve your rendering experience and quality. It's simple and easy to work with. You can find a download link in the description. As you see, I set up a simple scene to showcase how you can do that. There is nothing in the environment as a light source. Let me go to my camera by pressing C on keyboard and take a quick render. As you see, it's black since there is no special light source except this little lamp. Alright, this scene is also available for free download. Just check the link in the description. I will go to a scripting menu, select run script and then open that script. The script is actually running, so I'll go to Customize menu and Customize user interface. Under the toolbars, I'll find the script and simply drag and drop it onto the button I just made before recording this video. Let me show you by redoing it. Under the option menu, there are three different modes. This one creates the sun and sky with the plane that actually add the lighting details to our scene. This one would allow you to load any special map if you have on your hard drive. And the last one is for adjusting the created objects. I will show you in a minute. I press this one to create that object. I will go through each of them. But first, I just press on sun and sky to create it in my scene. Here are some options to modify the height, distance, angle, and the intensity of the sun. I just choose the angle and then the sun's height. It's really up to you. You can check the outcome and adjust it based on how you want it to shine. It's exactly like any sun that you create via rendering engines. The cool part is here. There are some filters that it creates between the sun and your scene. So the sun shines through it and it creates amazing effects. Let me choose one of them. And as I click on the scene, I just create it and it put it there. Now I need to adjust the position, scale and rotation to get the best result. Let me just rotate. And yeah. One thing that would help a lot is to make an interactive rendering so you will see the result in real time. But before that, let me talk a bit about the sponsor of this video. WinFox is one of the leading online learning communities for people who want to learn from educational videos with the primary goal of learning by completing the project. There are hundreds of tutorials in each category, so you can watch them and learn new skills or sharpen your knowledge. Here I picked a tutorial for you to help you improve your skills. You will learn how to make a day and night scene using 3ds Max, V-Ray and Photoshop. It's a step-by-step -step guided course, super practical and easy to learn. Hope you enjoy it. I put the links in the description. Just make sure you use the code SM10 to get $10 off for this purchase. Alright, to start interactive rendering, I go to camera and start rendering. Let me put this here, yeah. I will see the result as I make the changes. Oh, I should have locked the camera. I open the render setup. Choose the camera in the list and press this lock icon. So from now on, if I change between the different viewports, the camera won't change and it keeps rendering. As I move this plane, you will see the changes on my shot. So I will keep changing the position until I feel it's good. The shadows make this shot more realistic and gives more depth to my work. Hey. 
Mm, no, if I scale it up, it would become too big for my scene. Very nice shadows are appearing on the floor. I think that would be a good place somewhere around here. If I reduce the size amount, you will see that the shadows will be sharper. Just look at the details. I think that's too much. We don't really need that. So yeah, this is fine. You can also add as many planes as you want to mix them or replace them. Just select and click in the environment. You can also increase the intensity if you want to have a brighter scene. You can also press clear in order to remove the sun and place the sun by yourself using your rendering engine. So let's adjust it for the last time. You can see the before and after to understand how important this is. Everything is rendering good and all the material details are there, but the scene is not realistic since nothing is affecting on it. But as soon as I add the effects, you will see that it feels way better. I stopped the video and made my final adjustments, so here's the final result, and this is after post-production. I'm gonna make a video for this post-production, so please hit that like button if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon, have fun!